Hey, what's up everybody? Tom here again playing Kerbal Space Program. And today I got a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that I've built entirely stock. And I'm running KRPC in the background, synchronizing the throttle control to the left and right prop on this thing. This is based on a V280 Valor or a V22 Osprey type design. Uh, disconnect the central pivot. You can see I've got a left prop and a right prop. My program that's controlling all this stuff identified the left prop based on the antenna here and the right prop based on the ladder here. And I'm spamming the throttle control from the lead even though it doesn't technically have any engines at all. Uh, it still has a throttle control so I'm spamming that to the props and applying that to the roll on the reaction wheels. So these things are counter rotating based on the throttle setting of the lead aircraft. I'm just going to stabilize. You can see it is taking off. It's actually working. And the gear are also synchronized. So that's gear going up essentially on two aircraft at the same time. Uh, so the next thing is, yeah, I can take off vertically, but can I transition to horizontal flight? Which is the tricky part of this whole deal. Um, spoiler alert, I have not been able to transition to horizontal flight successfully. I can show you what happens, and I've tried a lot of different designs. Um, but this is like as close as I've gotten. You can see I've got some Panther engines on these guys. They're hooked in. So when I hit six, I'm going to actually level out. Level out. Come on, come on. It's a little hard to control. It's also extremely quiet, which is weird. It's these electric props running. Um, if I hit six, I should tilt forward. And if I let go, you'll see I start to move forward, but the props start to rotate back. See that? And then they'll rotate forward. And as long as I can maintain control, they'll rotate back again. So there's this oscillation going on. And I can't quite figure out how to get rid of that. So I added a docking port on this central pivot that pops up there. But you'll see what happens next. Come on. All right, I'm just going to level out, stop the rotation. Or try to stop the rotation. This thing is So yeah, it's tricky to control. And you got two props that are totally separate craft running on their own, connected with I beams to your thing here. Um, all right, good enough. I'm gonna try to hit six. Connect the. Could try to get this thing transitioned. It's close. It's not quite connecting, but. There we go. We've lost the props. There they go. Gaining altitude quickly. I'll try to pull up. Save these guys down the mountainside into the... Hey! Nobody died. I'll call that a success. And if we look up into the sky, where are my props? There they are just happened. There's one of the props. Did they both crash? Yep. Um, I can show you one more time. One second. Okay. Let's start this thing again. So those detach. Identify the left prop. Identify the right prop. Rotate them in opposite directions based on the throttle applied to the roll. 
uh, you can see if I drop it down it's like the whole idea is just so good it's like it works so well um, you can see they're slowing down just max it out off they go I just detach the central pivot so now these things are spinning freely rotating freely hit the gear everything's pulling up so this all works if I could just get the thing tilted forward um, but that is the key that is the main problem so we'll try this try to dock it and you can see immediately you dock the props dismantle and that is all she wrote so if you have any idea how I might improve this design and actually make it work um, I'm so close to making this thing work I just I'm, I'm out of ideas so let me know in the comments what do you think I should do with this I've tried reaction wheels I've got the counter the counter uh, thrust from an engine lock the things in with the docking port I've tried containing the props with other parts if there's another prop design you know about let me know um, anyway hope you enjoyed my vertical takeoff and landing aircraft it can vertically take off it can vertically land it just can't fly horizontally I think it's impossible. I hope it's not. I hope somebody has a secret. Thanks, everybody. Bye.